Hello once again. How's everybody doing? I'm doing all right. Just in the car again, running some more errands. Waiting for the light to change. Playing in traffic with all my wonderful friends in sunny Southern California. So, I just wanted to share a bit of information that I found kind of disturbing. Not earth shattering but still pretty disturbing nonetheless. Um, apparently, there is an outbreak of bed bugs. Not at Shea Wombat. Actually, it's a restaurant. It'd be Castle Wombat, which is a house. No, not not in, in my house or work or anything like that. But I heard on the news that a library in L.A. County, not just one library... But the whole chain is infested with bed bugs. One case involved a girl checking out a book about vampires. And she said she wanted a book about bloodsuckers, but didn't expect to find bloodsuckers literally inside the book. I guess they hide in the spines of the book, the pages, maybe the table of contents, maybe the index. Maybe right there in the middle, chapter chapter 7, where it says it was a dark and stormy night. That's where the bed bugs are hiding. But I guess they're, they're everywhere. They're inside the computers. They're inside the computer chairs. They're inside the carpet. Um, some people are saying the homeless people are bringing them in. Some people are saying kids are bringing them in. And they're hitching rides on people's backpacks. Jackets, shoes, hats, you name it. Those crafty little buggers are... Ha <laughs> buggers. Ha! <laughs> those crafty little buggers are just getting... Getting a ride to, to anywhere and everywhere. And when a library finds out that they've been infested, they just simply close down and say they're doing inventory or, or some nonsense. But it's happening with a bigger increase like it's just going like crazy don't hear about it too much from the libraries themselves they're trying to keep it on a need-to-know basis they don't want to alert anybody they don't want to cause mass hysteria I think as a parent I think I'd be pretty upset if my child came home with bed bugs and they got them at the library and I wasn't notified when the library knew full well that this was a full bore infestion infestation <laughs> maybe I should go to the library to learn words so you know with all this said it's hard enough to get kids to read a lot of people might say reading sucks reading doesn't suck it's the bed bugs that suck. And one of the people they're interviewing that works for a library is trying to disguise his voice and sound all different. Um, he said, yeah, yeah, everybody knows. Um, local and you know, city officials know. Everybody's like, we'll treat it as we need to treat it. Just keep it all quiet. Don't say nothing unless you want to lose your job is pretty much how they're going to handle it. But I mean, can you imagine? And then one of the guys they're talking to even says, you know, it's just not in our city. It's in cities all over the nation. Bed bugs. In your books, at your local library. There's a lot of kids that go to the library because it's where they go to hang out with their friends and not get into trouble after school. Or maybe they go there when they're waiting for someone to come home to let them in i don't know but now they got to deal with homework and bed bugs no thanks it just it just kind of kind of sucks like a bed bug and i guess those things breed pretty fast too so gotta worry about bed bugs in addition to the flu and in addition to everything else isn't the world such a bright and cheerful place today? 
I'm just just bubbling over right now with so much so much joy <laughs> uh, anyways I just thought I'd share that with you remember sneeze into your elbow cuts down on spreading your germs to other people hand sanitizer is your friend use it don't abuse it make sure you know where it's at so you don't lose it all right you got it